Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Today I Found Out, and in the video today, who invented the Konami Code? The Konami Code, also known as the Konami Command, and sometimes the Contra Command, is among the most enduring Easter eggs in video game history. For those who aren't familiar, there are a number of video games released by Konami over the years in which entering up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A will result in the player being granted a host of power-ups or a bonus of some kind, depending on the game. While the code itself was initially featured in the 1986 Famicom Family Computer, better known the world over as the Nintendo Entertainment System port of Gradius, it is best known for its appearance in the 1988 NES port of Contra. In this game, it granted the player 30 additional lives. So who invented the Konami code, and why was it put in the game? When Gradius was being ported to the NES, the guy in charge of developing and testing it, Kazuhisha Hashimoto, wasn't very good at the game. This was a problem because part of his job included playing all the way through to make sure there were no bugs or errors. To make beating the game easier, Hashimoto inserted a code that would grant him a full arsenal of power-ups. As to the story behind the specific pattern, Hashimoto noted, There isn't one really. I mean, I was the one using it, so I just put in something I could remember easily. After he finished testing the game, Hashimoto forgot to remove the code before clearing it for release, and the game went into production with the code still lingering in the game's program. Hashimoto's fellow developers at Konami liked his idea for a code that made games easier to complete when testing them out, and similarly began inserting them into other games that they were working on in order to make their jobs easier. Exactly how the Gradius power-up code became known to general gamers is not clear, but when it did, knowledge of it quickly spread via word of mouth. This inspired Konami developers to put the same code in the NES port of Contra to serve as an easter egg of sorts for gamers who played Gradius and Gradius 2, the latter of which also contains the same cheat code. Of course, as anyone who's played Contra will tell you, completing the game without the Konami code is difficult, if not nigh on impossible, without superhuman reflexes, perhaps also inspiring the developers to have mercy on gamers by keeping the code in. The code would later become synonymous with Contra thanks to massive coverage from gaming publications like Nintendo Power. This publication famously revealed its existence to thousands of young gamers in their first ever issue in 1988. Due to the code's massive popularity with gamers, Konami decided to implement it in virtually all subsequent sequels to both Gradius and Contra, while also inserting it into many of their other titles. Since then, numerous other game makers have used the same code, appearing in over 200 video games to date, and it has spread to other forms of media, including being featured in songs, TV shows, movies, and on various websites such as BuzzFeed. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below, and don't forget to subscribe. Brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right, some videos from the archives that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And as always, thank you for watching.